fact, just about every vintage bike I work on has a sticky front brake. Riding a motorcycle with a sticking front brake is very, very dangerous. Get it fixed. So when you got a motorcycle with a sticking front caliper, there's a couple things you can do about that. Um, there's an easier way to fix it, which I always try first, because you don't have to take the hydraulic line off and re-bleed the calipers and all that stuff, which can suck. There's an easier way that I always try first because nine times out of 10, it works just fine. And I'm gonna cover that here. Let me show you how I do that. The first thing to do is to remove the calipers off of the discs. On this bike, they're 12 millimeter sockets. Just two bolts, pretty standard thing on most bikes, they usually just slide right off. In the event that yours is so frozen on there that you can't get the caliper off, you're going to have to resort to some more extreme measures and probably a sledgehammer of some kind. So one of the first things I'm going to do is check that the master cylinder is filled up with fluid because we're going to use some of it up. We don't want it to get air in the lines, so just make sure that's topped off. So now I'm going to start pumping the brake lever and push these pistons out. Um, on this particular bike, the it has dual front calipers, dual front disc brakes, and only one of the calipers was actually working at a time that they weren't working e together evenly. So I just pumped the one out and then blocked it off and then pumped some more and then the other one started coming out but once you get the pistons out and you peel the seals back or while well, the boots back off of the pistons you can see how it, how these are gooped up they got some some little bit of surface rust on them and stuff so that's kind of basically the problem and that's what's keeping them from being able to be pulled back in so like I said at the beginning of this video this is the easy way to do this and here's the easy part I had some chrome polish sitting around and while well, these pistons the chrome so that stuff removes the rust really well I got a tell I got that chrome polish and with those pistons pushed out just far enough I'm gonna polish them up and get get some of that nastiness off of there and you want to be careful not to push the pistons out too far because it will pop out and all the fluid will come gushing out um, usually don't have to go take it out that far but you can see there I'm polishing up polishing it up a bit and cleaning it up then I'm going to take some silicone lithium grease, or no, what is it, white lithium grease that I have in a can. Pretty much any type of grease uh, that you got laying around. Throw it on that piston, and then we're going to work it back in with a clamp. And then that's pretty much it. That's why this is the easy way. It pretty much works all the time, like I said, 9 out of 10 times. So there you see me using a wrench and a C-clamp to push the piston back in. You can devise your own little method to do that as long as it pushes the piston back in and you got the piston greased up should be good to go